What's up live hearts and welcome to the first part of Sea of Stars. I am excited, I didn't play the demo, but obviously people who have played the demo, they already know what's going on here. I don't. Let's get into it. Press the button. I pressed the wrong button, I thought it was the touchpad. Um, volume seems good to me. Um... Turn that bit down. Yeah, that could go down. That could go down as well. Those two noises, too annoying. I hope that you can still hear them, but they annoyed me quite greatly. Yeah, they annoy me a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna mess with the controls until we get into the game, because I don't know what's uh what's the script with it so yeah i've been i've been waiting for this game for a while see if there's two main characters select like the one that who lead the party this can be changed later and does not affect the story well i'm gonna go for the girl a monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess luana a blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god solon oh let's go let's go let's go so i don't know anything about this game other than the fact that it's turn based and it looks adorable um, there are other characters you get in your party. Uh, I've basically just seen what they tweet, to be honest. Um, Welcome to the Great Archives Adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure, guys. I'm the archivist, an immortal vest ve versed in the ways of alchemy. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cat uh, cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I'd seen. And in my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the best of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet boom. So... Walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly, a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search of the f in search for a resolution to the throes of Fleshmancer. Fleshmancer? Now I remain a bit lost amidst all the timelines and all their subtle variations, but I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes! Our story begins in a world visiting the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on the Evermiss Island, two brave children of Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to f become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. <laughs> use the magic? It's like I'm playing another Final Fantasy, guys. They want to use magic without using magic. Mountain Trail. Oh, so wait, they're both in my party? Okay. Alright, we made it to the Mountain Trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats staying at the Academy. And sewing. Huh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the well you weave into it shall be your sole defence in times of greatest needs. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's go up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. I'm coming through. Oh, we're going right into the battle, so let's see. How dare you not let me use skills? How? Vulnerable. Still can't use skills, how dare you? Vulnerable. Brew games wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Can 
Can I just set up camp over at the bonfire? Oh, okay. A little bit of platforming going on here. Well, I won't go down there. Can I jump over there? No? Can you see enemies in this game? Like, it's not random encounters, it's enemies? It's not vulnerable. Oh, like, do I get my HP back after every battle? Oh, shit, I didn't read that. Let's try this. Lunar magic project projectile that can bounce to multiple targets, smashes enemies in our... Okay. It's specified in an arc. I wonder if that change, uh, like, can hit multiple people depending on the layout or something. Valerie, found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top definitely is through here. The sun is saying, come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Tomato clubs. Press X to unroll rope ladder. Whee. So it's not random encounters? I thought it was going to be random encounters for some reason, but... Oh well. Does it make a difference? I'm also surprised that you heal after fights, it seems. I wonder if I can actually hit you at some point. You just get taken out by a boulder. How sad would that be? Skill. So the timer is just how long it takes them to move? Power, 100%, excuse me? No? How dare you? I am disgusted at the thought of you thinking you got more power. It's weird having to press X to actually do the jumping, but... But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. <laughs> oh yeah, that only that only took that one only took once. You ever missed those years? Before training, just being kids? Always daydreaming and getting into trouble making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why you wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that we're still friends. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, girl. G oh, girl! <laughs> sorry, it's a weird name. Can I call him Garland? Girl sounds weird. <laughs> Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before we were tra uh, traveling historians to record, record it. But no way. Sure is. And it's super dangerous too. But don't worry. It can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. Erlina and Br Bruggaves are back. Bruggaves? 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 Quick! Maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. I want the book. Oh, it's a save spot. I was like, what is the magical book? Seeing if there's any buttons I could check for there. Nothing yet, guys. Nothing yet. Oh, this music is lovely! Oh, I enjoy this music. 
Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in the little cave down below? Uh, after this part, I'll obviously rewatch the thing to see if the music or anything is too quiet for you guys. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort was well worth it. I wouldn't want you missing out on this. I really like this, actually. It's very calm. I hope you're not getting... Like, it's not calm, but it is. I hope you're not getting yourselves into trouble again. It's, uh, it reminds me very much of Stardew kind of music. Hey, wait. Oh. We get, like, little cutscenes in this game? Oh my god, big people. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again? We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa. Come closer, Zell. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. Huh. I'm sure you are. Come here then. Yeah. Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. <laughs> that was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would rather hear your report. Right away, headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brigaves. Brigaves? Brigaves? I'm gonna say Brigaves. I don't really know. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. And Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you two for training right away and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? This way? Oh, we've got three little adventurers at the bottom when you've got three of them. That's lovely. Oh, this is weird. Forbidden Cavern. I didn't realise there was going to be like an overworld thing for travelling. Let's hit that little save point, guys. Only three save slots. I wish there was more. Threes. Mm. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Like, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Hmm, sandwich. Om nom nom nom. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. <laughs> Alright, how do I do this? Maybe like er er Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. Why is it me that has to open it? Why can't one of those two try it? Or why can't we all try it together? Like the power of friendship. I knew it! It worked? I did it? I finally did it! So, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter it. Can be our first adventure! Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting, let's go. We're gonna get smacked, mate. This is a horrible idea. Horrible idea. Something's gonna happen where like the guy with me shits himself, right? And he's gonna like leave. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. I thought Evermiss Island was safe. Guess that's only true for a moon cradle. 
We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh, fuck. But... Watch out! There's another one! This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I... I don't know. Just try. What does... What does he do? Does he do anything? Watch out! It's preparing something. Come on. Come on. Valerie, watch out! Oh, wow. Uh -huh. No, girl! My eye! It really hurts. I, I, I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. <laughs> Destroyed. So it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs help. feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what girl needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. So wait, why can't girl learn? Why can't girl also become a Solstice Warrior? What's the... What's the script though? Is it because he's got brown hair instead of blue or, or orange? He's not allowed to because his hair he's got not, not got the right hair colour? Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor, the poor kid. He's not the complaining type. If the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If it, if you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Why can't he become years? No way! But your friend has so much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, I will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Why can't he? Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Why can't he become a Solstice Warrior? Did I miss something? I'm dead a minute because his hair color is not the right color. Oh, my, my controller is indeed running out, guys. This really does remind me of, like Stardew music, guys. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In the ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become a Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Up we go, I guess. Imagine they fell off and, like, they died. It would be his fault. <laughs> They're just kids. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. Right, okay, yeah, so they thought with a full moon as well. So it is all, like, you know, stars and stuff. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before. And Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties inc inc incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it means to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, and most importantly, sewing. S sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join our ranks begin by weaving their by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. 
It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and measure of protection against the minions of the Flesh Mansa. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to make with the Elder Mist. To meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. <laughs> I understand it's not what you were hoping for, but it is what it is. But it is what it is. It actually says what it is, but it is what it is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. Hey, maybe, maybe you can get some people like sewing. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourself at home. To your left is the training room. You are going to there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It's off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Pick a bed aligned with your magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you're ready. Do I get like the, do I get to like pick how I go with this? Or is like picking your character and how you pick um what kind of combat stuff you do? Huh. Well this looks very cute. I like it guys. I like it. But with that being said, we'll be ending off there. I'm not actually sure where I'm going right now, but um we'll have a look around the place. Um so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited to play this game. We're going to be, um, the screen schedule for this game is on my phone. So let me check what I have put. Um, da, 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 da. Let me just see. I put up saying Sea of Stars would be Monday, Friday, Sunday. Of course, this will be going up on a Tuesday, but today will be the only day it goes up on a Tuesday. Then it'll be Monday, Friday. Um, Monday, Friday, Sunday. It's just going up today because, you know, it came out today and I'm excited to play it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that everyone who plays with it, uh, plays this game also enjoys it. Uh, feel free to comment things, give me tips. Don't give me any story spoilers. I would be very upset for story spoilers. Uh, so please don't do that. But uh, for any tips or, like, your experience with the game yourselves, please comment and let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to poke that like button, subscribe, and comment your comments because there are comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!